In the previous video, we learned about streams in the context of reading and writing file contents. We used create readable stream to create a readable stream that reads from a file and we used create writable stream that writes to a file. As it turns out, this is a common pattern and Node has a simpler and better way to do the same. And that is using pipes. Let's learn about pipes in this video. In non-technical terms, we understand what a pipe is. For example, a pipe that connects a tank to a kitchen sink. The tank feeds water into the pipe, which can be released through the tap in the sink. From a pipe point of view, we are reading water from the tank and writing it to the sink. In Node.js, a pipe is very similar. It takes a readable stream and connects it to a writable stream. We use the pipe method on a readable stream to implement the functionality. Back in VS Code, in index.js, I can comment out the data event and instead write one line of code. Readable stream dot pipe and we pass in writable stream. If we now save the file, clear file to contents and run node index, we can see the same output as before. Hello code evolution, which is present in file.txt. Now what is great about a pipe is that it returns the destination stream, which enables chaining. However, the condition is that the destination stream has to be readable, duplex, or a transform stream. In our current example, we have a writable stream, so we cannot chain by calling dot pipe. Instead, let's make use of another built-in module, which is zlib. Now this example might be slightly advanced at the moment, but I want to make sure you're aware of the concept of chaining with the pipe method. At the top, import the zlib module. zlib module provides compression functionality implemented using gzip algorithm. Or in simple terms, zlib allows us to create zipped files if we can call it that. Now what is great about zlib is that it has a built-in transform stream. So we can write const gzip is equal to zlib.createGzip. And after we have created a readable stream, we can write readable stream dot pipe gzip. Now this returns a transform stream so we can call dot pipe and pass in fs dot write stream and the destination is file two dot txt dot gz. We are chaining with dot pipe as you can see. Moving from a readable stream to a transform stream to a writable stream. Of course, you can write fs.writeStream as a constant and use it, but hopefully you're able to understand the concept of chaining with the pipe method. If I run node index, you should see the new file, file2.txt.gz created. This is how pipes work in Node.js. Now, we are not quite done with the built-in modules. We have one more to go, which is the built-in HTTP module. Let's take a look at that next. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.